Hi, I'm a radiation physicist, and today we're going to make a cloud chamber and look at nuclear radiations. The kit that we're going to use is available at cost for educators from the American Nuclear and Health Physics Societies. More on that later. Here's the kit. Plastic box with a lid, felt strip, a rock containing uranium, and instructions. You'll also need methanol, dry ice, and a flashlight. Okay, here we go. The felt strip should be glued to the upper inside of the box like this. Drip some methanol on the felt strip. Don't let it pool at the bottom of the box. If it does, you have too much. The cloud chamber works because a methanol cloud is formed inside the box. Next, place the uranium rock at the bottom of the box near the window. This provides the alpha and beta particles that will show up in the cloud chamber. Some cloth lantern mantles available in camping stores contain thorium and also work well. A radioactive rock as small as the pebble is not dangerous. Try other items you think may be radioactive. If you have a mineral collection, try other rocks. Just keep them small. It's a small chamber. Okay, we've got methanol on the felt strip, the rock at the bottom, close the lid, and place on dry ice. Remember, never touch dry ice without wearing heavy gloves. It can freeze the skin or use tongs such as this. Also, I put a foam or wicker plate under the ice to protect the table. While we're waiting for the cloud to form, here's the physics. Radiation passing through the cloud precipitates liquid droplets in its path. This is also known as a vapor trail, as seen in the sky behind high-altitude aircraft. The cloud in the chamber is not a water cloud, but an alcohol cloud. Methanol is the best alcohol to use. Denatured alcohol sold in hardware stores will also work. Remember, methanol is a poison. The radiations come from radioactive atoms. The rock contains not only uranium, but radium, thorium, and other radioactive elements. Here are the vapor trails from alpha and beta radiations. If you could trace a trail back to its source, you'll come to a single atom. Each trail is evidence of a single atom undergoing radioactive decay. To see best, the room lights are off and I'm shining a flashlight through the window on the side of the box to light up the trails.